Hello and welcome to my channel. This is Darcy's Misadventures with Mixed Media and welcome to a new series that I think I'm going to call Ephemera Quartet. I'm just going to make four pieces of ephemera but I'm also going to do it like from my box. I've got two boxes actually right now because of course I do uh, of unmade ephemera. So I've got like bases unmade ephemera here as well as in this box of course my goal is to get this all down to one box so some of this may be going away into the boxes that are going away um so i'll pick out four bases with my eyes closed and um those are the four pieces that i'll be doing something with is that one piece i have no idea what that is okay that's two that's three and from the other one Four. All right, so I've got four pieces to work with. Oh, wait, this one's pretty much... I don't know if I want to add anything to that or not. Huh. Okay, and then the reason um, for this is so that I can have, like, some shorter videos, which some people do prefer to have some... Sh that's a template. <laughs> it's, that's not a base. Why? That's in the wrong place. Uh, the reason I have this is because one of the first bookmarks I made, I had the words like that, and I wanted to save that. Um, so that's actually just going to go in my idea journal and sorry, I'll pick out one more. My eyes are closed. That's just a pocket. That's fine. We can work with that. Out, my wrist hurts today. Don't know if I slept on it or if it's this rainy, drizzly weather that we're having. All right. So four pieces, but, and real quick, I'll show you what I made yesterday on my own, not on video. Cause you know, sometimes you guys like to see that kind of thing, right? So I just did a piece of paper, a couple pieces of uh, layering bits, and a bird on a piece of Tim Holtz. And we have a little cluster, a little cluster. I added the this and the coffee and that and that. The only thing that was on there was the doily and that little piece there. Another cluster. This one I just added a label and a bird and some stamping. Oh, and book page. Oh, didn't see the book page. The light's a little weird. He was a cluster, so I just added this red down here and that up there. And then that one, I added that and the paper. Make it a little bit more. I'm not worried about finishing them absolutely completely. I always reserve the right to add something here and there before the uh, before the final product or fi you know before it goes out in a journal or out in the world. To it. New home, that finished ephemera. Okay. All right, which one? Do I, this one's the easiest one for me. In my mind's eye, especially if I can find a good picture. Um, and then, of course, you could, you know, do, well, you know, I mean, I could just leave it like that, or I could change it up a little bit. And, well, first, let me see what's in my uh puffy cut because that may determine what i decide to do i want i want my flowers where my flowers go is birds and some flowers and some labels might be good uh let's see oh but i'll have to back them if i decide so I really liked what uh, Rachel did in uh, Rachel Roxy Creations last year. She had some where like the picture went up over the pocket, and I really liked that. Uh, let's see. Ooh. That might be kind of cool. And then I could put like a piece of... Um... Alright, and also, after you make your little scrappy pads... You can just put them in your scraps and then just take one out and be like, okay, this is the one I'm using today for my, um, see this one actually would work really nice on there. And that would be kind of a, a cool, fun way to, uh, use up your scraps. That could actually go lower, but it doesn't have to be that either. Ooh, what's this? I really like these purpley, purpley flowers and roses. Ooh, that's pretty. Okay. Um, what else? Anything else? That one's pretty too. 
It gives me two flowers, although I could still have that one kind of poke out behind. Behind? Behind. Why did it sound weird out of my out of my face when I first said it? I don't know. Either one of those works, I think. This one's a little bit big, but that's okay too. Of course, they keep it on this side. I don't know why I feel like they have to no, that side is better. Alright, let's just glue it down. You don't have to overthink it. You know, you're singing it now, aren't you? Some of, a, some of you have been around a while and you've heard me sing it. And so, you know, don't overthink it. Don't overthink it. Oh, for, the, uh, for when I was doing the user to lose it scraps. Uh, let's see. My friend Lisa suggested, who are you going to call? Scrap busters. You got a lot of scraps and they're in your room. Who are you going to call? Scrap Busters. I don't do songs that well sometimes. <laughs> I just got to decide which way I want that one to go. Or, I think I just want it to be a little bit lower over there. I just want a little bit more of the that part up there. Because you can't tell it's upside down there. So it works quite well. I hope everybody's good. Oh, the last couple days were super low energy days. That's because of some medication I'm on. That's one of the side effects. And it just kind of, it gets me down because I'm like, well, is it that? Or is, is my iron going back down? Or are my electrolytes off? Because, you know, the meds also cause me to not want to eat and cause me to lose weight, which can then cause some dehydration issues and whatnot. And that might have been my issue yesterday. I was, I was struggling was on the struggle bus yesterday. I did a little bit in the morning and then I don't, if you watched my video that came out yesterday, you saw I was like more thirsty than usual. And so pretty sure it had to do with electrolytes. So I had, you know, took my melt, my met, not my, well, I am on metformin, but um, magnesium. And I had uh, both my meals had some uh, potassium in there because I can't take potassium supplements so I just got to make sure that my food has some potassium in it because that's not gonna you can't overdose on natural potassium in food but you can by supplements and because of my blood pressure medication which has potassium in it you know can't do that so what do we think yes no I think I have a purple one in here though yeah I do is that one big enough Oh, it might be. That one's nice. Okay. I need to make some of this green color. I mean, I've got the blue. My, oh, I'm going to have to find something to put the front of my hair up. My bangs are, like, in my face. Like, well, they're they're doing the, um, what's the, what's the word I want? They're doing the, oh, that one's too big. Why are you looking at that one? It's too big. Stop looking at that one. Oh, that one's brown. Brown could work, too. Now with the one going. Alright, I'm going to do that one, which is a close, close purple. And I've made a decision, I think. I reserve the right to change my mind. Uh, but one of the things that you kind of want to do when you're organizing is, um, you know, you have to look at your container. Your container is your room. And then you decide, you know, what shelves you have and boxes you want to use and whatnot so I, I need to settle on a container for my scraps so they don't get out of hand again so I think I'm gonna have uh, three scraps containers one will be colorful one will be book page and one will be backing and I bought these a few years ago oh, where'd they go I had one it was right in... I'm sorry a second ago oh well I'll find it in a minute um and that's going to be my container. So essentially what that means is once the scraps overflow, I need to either make something with them or, you know, it'll be a loser, use or lose situation. So the use or lose videos will continue throughout, well, till I die, I suppose. I don't know. Because I'm always going to have some use or lose things. All right, so the front of that pocket, and I can just glue this. If I want to decorate this back piece a little bit, that wouldn't be too hard, would it? Um, let's see. I could even just kind of like top it with that. 
and maybe put some book page underneath it. That might be nice. That will that will um that would be nice. That might be nice. What do we have in here? Any book page? We do have some book page. What else? Ooh, that's kind of nice too. Let's see. Let's look at it beside. Kind of like the gringiness of this though. All right, how much of it do I need? I don't need the whole thing. And I do kind of want to have more of a rough edge on the side here. And this is going to make it much more skinny than I probably wanted it, but that's okay. I can make this skinnier. What do we think? Yes, no? Maybe so. Maybe over this side. Do I want something else going? I don't I don't like that. So no, no would be the answer to that. So do I like this one better? A little yellow for the background there, but At least wider, similar to that color down there. And let's see, just ink the edges and see. I think it'll be fine. And yeah, I had the staples on it, so I got that rip part. Uh, that doesn't bother me. Plus, it's actually going to get covered anyway if I'm going to put this down first and then this. But it wouldn't bother me if it showed either. It might end up showing if I do this. There we go. Yeah, I like that. Okay, that's it. That's going down as decoration in the back. You don't have to decorate the back of the of a pocket like that. And you know, it might get shown. It might not. But uh, you know, still a nice little surprise for. Oh, and if I had been smart, I would have just not glued the whole thing down. Because that's, I could have um, made it a secret journaling spot. If I had just glued the very top and left it so it would flip up, I could have made it a secret journaling spot. Oh, I wish we get to do stuff like that. But that would be another way to do a secret journaling spot, wouldn't it? So, yeah. My husband's gone out to get the trash can in, which means he'll probably bring in my iced coffee for me that I left in the car. Wasn't worth going out to get in the rain. All right, there is number one of our quartet. Let me pause and get something for my hair. Phew, bangs are not flopping around my forehead anymore. All right, so let's go with another easier one. The last one's gonna be the hardest one because it's just really, really colorful. Super, super colorful. All right, this was made on really thick cardstock that just happens to have a perforation on there. But I think I'll just still keep it as one tall tag. So, um, don't mind me, let's set that there then. Let's go ahead and ink this. And does it want to be a tag or a journal card? We're not totally sure yet. It hasn't told us. Um, I could sew around it. That would make it really pretty. I'm, I'm not, I have to be in the mood to sew. And so when I do sew, I'm, I'm more likely to, um, to just go ahead and sew a bunch all at once. But if you want the look of sewing and not having to sew, you could either get the stamp or just take the black or whatever color you want and just kind of give it that look with the faux stitching. And uh, let me see. Oh, just grab. Like a little black marker with glue is on my finger. That is never pretty. Uh, what's this one look like? I think that one's small enough. So you can just do a little stitching. Like that. Just all around it if you want. Or just on one side. Adds a little black to this side. I mean, there's black in there. But the blacks over here just feel darker. So, you know, that's one way. Just do a little faux stitching. Kind of frames it out. There's no perfect way to do it. There's no right, wrong. So. 
I'm just gonna do that. I know, it's a little weird. That's okay. All right, I think I like this image for this card because it's nice and tall and um, you know, we've got a little bit of green here and they've got, you know, more jewel tone green there. And there's this little bit of this aqua down here. So I could use aqua on there. And then also there's this, you know, the ruby red. This is the closest thing I have to that. So that is, you know, a possibility. But it doesn't really fill the bottom like I want it to. So this brown, which has just a little bit of green in it, is probably my, my favorite option. And then I'm trying to figure out, so I kind of like his back kind of touching right there. And that way her nose isn't too far to the right that, you know, they're working pretty well. And then I'm considering if I want to put maybe this one down here. And then I've got this piece of, uh, faux washi, faux -shi? I don't know. And it's not clear. Oh, well, it's, um, it's translucent. I think it's, uh, I think it might actually be draft paper, not tracing paper. But I was trying to see if, because it does have like a reddish and it has the aqua on there. So I was thinking it might work somewhere on here. But I'm not sure where and if I'm overthinking it. But you know, maybe I just want to bring a little color over here. That could be a, a possibility. Just grab my phone folder and just kind of get it down so that some of the words might even show through a little bit. So I just did that with stamping, did the double-sided tape on the back, but you don't have to do that, you know. You could just take tracing paper and then glue it down, you know, st stamp your tracing paper or your, uh, what's the other kind of paper? Tracing paper, uh, tissue paper, anything that you stamp on, you don't have to have double-sided tape on the back, you could just glue it down and have the same, you know, Foshi effect. So, and then I'm thinking of maybe doing a series kind of showing some of my favorite techniques uh, from the last few years that I've been doing this. I've only been doing this since 2019 only. I know some people have been here less time, some people longer. It's not a contest, it's not a race. None of that. Just try to get some of that glue off of there. There we go. Um, but yeah, just, and then this one, I might want to just, it's a little too pristine and clean, you know? Get a little wrinkles in there. Get it all, look like it came out of the nest. I don't know. <laughs> just wanted it to be a little more grungy than it was see but now that looks like it goes that way even though there is no direction for it and I put it a little higher than I thought I would have but I did not want to line it up with this line going across there so there's that and then this piece right here will kind of connect this and that so there's not like a blank space there not necessary it's just something I like to do I like to tell you guys why I do things sometimes. Not even if it doesn't always make sense. <laughs> if if I kind of have a, a rambling kind of reason, I'll, I'll try to let you know. Um, and then I just, I mean, I may do something else later. I may put a topper on it, or I may even do a little bit of stamping or stenciling at some point. But for now, I'm kind of happy with how it is. Ooh, and will it fit in here? Kind of almost, it, yep, it fits. It fits in there. That's nice. Okay. Anyway, so there's two. Kind of scarred. Well, this one, I think I just want um something. I don't know. What do I want? When do we want it? What do you want? When do you want it? I don't know. I mean, birds are pretty easy. I don't know if I have any. I just closed it. That was dumb. I'm thinking like maybe just a quote. Or a word, or it could stand alone on its own, except for it, it still seems like it's missing something. Unless I want to, um, what is it I could do? I guess this is winter, which puts it into a wintry 
state of mind. Let's see, let's find my white Posca pen. That might help if I if I darken this up. Okay, got a thicker one, so we'll see if I go over this if that will be a good thing or not. I just I knew it wasn't finished the way it was it just wasn't strong enough with it whatever I had on there just kind of do that maybe explore here we'll do this just fill them in why not all right I'm gonna let that dry while I We'll let that dry for a minute while I work on the other one because I think I want to do something over that. All right, this is perfect for writing on. This is just beautiful, I think, as it is. Oh, I do want to add a little something. Oh my goodness, that drawer doesn't have a drawer under it and so now it hates me. All right, so I'm just gonna do this and then you flip it. And then you flip it. And then you flip it. And I did not make my this edge straight and perfect because I like it not straight and perfect. It's perfectly imperfect. That was what my name of my... That's, I was going to be perfectly imperfect designs. But I think somebody was already that plus it didn't have my name. <laughs> and then, you know, the misadventures thing came up and that came up naturally if anybody's ever wondering where misadventures with mixed media came up i was just making a video one day and i was just like i should call this channel misadventures with mixed media because i would just feel like i was having misadventures you know now a bird might be nice it has to i want it to be on this side i think though so that this has is focused a little bit so whatever i put here i'd probably want near the top or uh, um, a little bit. So I don't want him. He's Well, first he's too wide. Oh, this could go this way. Um, but also, he doesn't say daisies to me, you know? All right. I hate taking them all out because then I have to put them all away. But it's definitely easier to flip through them if I do. What about you? You look like you're in the snow, but you're not. But Nope, not you. Not you, not you. How about you? Oh, that's the wrong one because I cut out this one. So that's because he had a bug in his mouth and I'd rather not have the one with the bug in his mouth. Oh, I could do it this way. And it could be like sunshines coming down on his head if I want to do one. That, oh, he's so cute. He's a little small. He's a little bit small. His yellow. Yeah, no, not him. You guys ever want to, you know, a blue one would be nice just because although he'd it takes a little win wintry to me, though. Um, ooh, yeah. I think I like him. I don't know about the leaves he's on, but I do. Because we have this blue down here. Is there another blue bird with blue? I think he might be the only one. Or is he not the only one? Do, 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 do. But he's nice and big, too, which makes him striking. Okay. He is more yellow than blue. He is not the right blue and a little small. He's cute. He's flying. He's got some blue. That creeped me out. There was like a noise over here. And then a paper moved. And I was like freaked out a little bit. Alright, let's put the rest away. We're gonna I'm gonna do the blue jay. I've been eyeing him for a little bit. I think he will be striking on this tag. Look at me, Mom, putting stuff away. Mariah will be so proud. Making my sister proud. All right. I'm going to turn into Gail while she turns into me. <laughs> Gail Gustinelli I'm talking about. She oh, she can't work in a mess, and um, which I love... You know, and I, that, I, that's my goal, is to have my desk look more like hers while I'm working. Which is not easy when you're me. And I'm always, like, losing stuff and whatnot. And then 
you know, now I see her be like, where did that thing go? Oh, look, it's right in front of my face. And I'm like, oh, Gail, you're turning into me. <laughs> so sorry. I can't see something if it's right in front of my face. Like, I was looking for my box of unfinished ephemera yesterday. And I looked all over for it. You know, after looking at it a few times... Uh, first and uh, it was you know it was right next to my desk but I kept thinking it was something else and then when I finally realized oh no that is my um I don't have to see the talons coming out of that leaf I can just have that leaf sticking out there I don't have to have all the leaves so you cut off what you want you keep what you want to keep cut off what you want to cut off you don't have to keep it just because it was part of the original picture I know that's obvious, and a lot of people are like, well, yeah, duh, and some people are going to be like, oh, you mean I can cut off the parts that are hard to cut? <laughs> no, no one knows what the original picture looked like. See, and now these are not as overwhelming to the bright flowers. There's just a couple of leaves there, and he's standing on something, so we're good. And uh, yeah, I'm just putting him on there. Maybe a label, we'll see. I don't know. I thought this was going to be the hardest one because I was like, what am I going to do with that? This is just, uh, I had done, oh, some inking papers and this was some like card stock cards that like, they're basically cards essentially, uh, that were like two on a page and then they fold in half, which is why, you know, that's all rough right there because I ripped it in half just to make it a journal card instead because it was kind of busy being two. So yeah, I just like, I do the, I, I think I either dip them or spray them with like a tea or a coffee. And then I put the stencil over it and then I spray it with a color. And then I do a piece of paper and then I do, I just keep layering them up like that. There's a video, excuse me, there's a video somewhere. Um, I like this, this one. I, I did a little overlay on it. I don't remember which, it's probably in the... Green, the blue and yellow kit that is probably where that or the Mariah and friends um, I just kind of kind of wish I had stuck it behind him there but that's okay I don't want to cover that blue though no nope, we're just gonna I'm just gonna leave it like that and I'm gonna be happy with it like that so that was number three now let's go ahead is this dry yep okay and I'm just gonna grab some black um, black that is fairly and let me grab this one because this one, if it's still a little wet, won't kill it. And then I'm just going to Do a little bit of mark making here and there, everywhere, and oh, I should probably because this one is like more of an artsy. I made it last year though. I don't know. Did you put it the year you originally made it or the year you finished it? Oh, uh, we'll put twenty four. Sure, why not? So those ones I do try to sign, the ones that I did on the gel plate and are mostly, you know, the majority of my personal artwork. Do we want to put a small, do we have a small bird? Like really, really small, like, he's not small, he's way big. All right, I know I just had these out. What is wrong with you, lady? Um, I don't need anything. It's probably fine, just the way it is. Oh my goodness. Your stuff. There we go. All right. Too big. Too big. Too wide. A lot of these are too big or too wide. So they're automatic. Oh, oh he's just just too big. If he was a little bit smaller, he might have been. Oh, I have a somewhere in here. I have a small owl. Let's see, and I will. If I need it to fit on the card, sometimes I will. I'll take the male and the female apart from each other and put them on separate tags. It's okay. I mean, this one would be a little bit harder to separate, but most of the time you can separate them and they still have a little branch to stand on. Ooh, I can't. What happened to his tail? His tail got cut off. That's a little sad. 
Oh, he's kind of cute on there. I like him. I'm going to make him work. Because I like him. When you're doing artsy tags, you don't have to have like a focal point, like a bird or a flower or something like that. Which is something I struggle with because, you know, I, I, well, I started with mixed media but didn't learn about focal points till junk journaling. And so now with mixed media, I kind of, you know, in my brain I'm thinking, oh, I have to have a focal point. But in reality, yeah, I kind of don't. <laughs> you know, this could be the focal point and that would be enough. But also, I can put this little guy on here, and that would be good, too. It's all good. It's whatever you want to do. And for me, that's what I want to do today. So, let me get him on there. I'm just going to, since his tail's cut off anyway, we're going to make it look on purpose, kind of. Except for he, there we go. And uh, it's a low, it's a low-hanging branch. There we go. Got a little glue again. Oh, I didn't go quite low enough. Oh, I will just, I don't know what I'll do because now his tail is all, it's almost the same color. Maybe it won't even hardly, you won't even hardly notice. <laughs> but if it bothered me, I could just cut the card off a little bit at the bottom. I'm going to try not to let it bother me. So there is that one. All right, let me show them to you close up. There is him. And there is this one that I did first. And this one. And that one. And I'm going to hashtag this uh, either JJ Ephemera Quartet or just Ephemera Quartet. I didn't see that either one of them were taken. So I think. I don't know. Ephemera Quartet. How's that? Hashtag Ephemera Quartet. Have a delightful day, guys. Love you.